I remember the first time my art was judged and I was seven. I mean, seriously, 50 years that has stuck with me. Can a book motivate me to create? Can it inspire me? My creativity, my motivation, whatever you want to call it, it's just been in the crapper. So, why am I at a playground? Think about it. A five-year-old, they can put some squiggly lines on a page and they're proud of it. And their parents, if the colors are right, their parents are extremely proud. My ultimate goal is to have the creativity mindset of a child. I mean, don't we all want that freedom? I haven't posted anything on YouTube in nearly a month. And it's not because I've been too busy. It's because I haven't created squat. I haven't done anything. My last video, it was a drawing that I did make probably three months ago. I just wanted to get something up on YouTube. I just didn't want to be that guy that doesn't continue doing YouTube, you know? But other than that, I mean, what's happening? We spent the entire month of December traveling pretty much all over the country. We hit four states in three and a half weeks. We started by flying to Virginia, see family, then on to Bozeman for graduation, Seattle, Washington, more family, Sacramento, California, more family, and then finally back home to Kona. I can't do acrylic pouring when I'm traveling, that's obvious, but without even thinking about it, I didn't pack my watercolors either. I did pack two sketchbooks, but they never came out of my backpack. I just have no motivation to create. Is that what you call a creative slump? For a while, I thought my creativity was just moving to YouTube, but I haven't been motivated to create there either. I need an answer. <laughs> Where do we go when we have questions? YouTube. I see a lot of people recommending The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. Um, I actually looked at this book maybe six months ago, and it just seemed too woo-woo for me. I'm just not that a touchy-feely person. A lot of people are saying that they've gotten a lot out of it, um, that it's affected them somehow, it's inspired them. I don't know, I'm reconsidering it now. There was one outlier YouTuber that pretty much trashed the book because of the religious aspects, but then I went to their channel and they trashed a lot of things. I think they just need... Can a 30-year-old book really motivate me and inspire my creativity? I think I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna order it. Back to this creative mindset of a child. How do they do it? What's it all about? Why do they create without a care in the world? I think it comes down to judgment. Judgment from others, which leads to self-judgment. They don't look at their work with judgment. They look at it with pride. And the parents, they look at it with love. I mean, we've all done it with our own work. That line's quite not right. The colors are off. We messed up that perspective. It's this self-judgment that blocks that uninhibited joy of just creating. I have a story for you. I'm knocking on the door to 60, but I remember the first time my art was judged and I was seven, maybe six, six or seven. Anyway, I was in first grade. The art assignment was to create a self-portrait out of clay. And it was basically just a circle and then you sculpt the nose, punch some eyeballs in, uh, put in a mouth, I put in teeth, and I colored those teeth blue. To this day, I still remember the teacher walking up behind me and saying, why did you paint your teeth blue? Your teeth aren't blue. And she, she was probably right, but still it was a judgment on something that I created and I still remember it to this day. I mean, seriously, 50 years that has stuck with me. I think this judgment by others leads to self-judgment, which in turn leads to self-doubt, which leads to frustration. And finally, you have art block. You're so frustrated with your own work that you don't know what to create. It's this lack of judgment that gives children the freedom to create. To just create. <laughs> Yeah, it came today. I'm actually pretty excited about it. Um, see what it's all about. 
actually got the artist way. And I went ahead and bought the workbook also. I purposely didn't watch videos that went into depth with the weekly lessons. I wanted to go through it with an unbiased opinion and just see if it actually works. I know the daily writings or morning pages are a huge part of it and then also there's an artist date that you're supposed to go on weekly. But that's really as far as I know, I really didn't get into what each, each lesson was about each week. I am planning to do some videos, a follow-up, and let you know how this actually works for me. I'm not sure if they're going to be weekly, bi-weekly, monthly. I have no idea. It just depends on what feels right to me. So, have you ever suffered from creativity block, creativity slump? How'd you get past it? Let me know in the comments. Subscribe if you want to follow along. Mahalo. Till next time.